Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a update to the um, version 1809 or the October 2018 update rollout as we're continuing to look at the situation of how well it goes. So of course the first thing that I got to note is that before I talk about some of the little issues that are being uh, found on October 2018 update, the majority of people rolling out are actually fine. Um, they have fixed the uh, file disappearance problem, they have fixed the zip problem, and for most people the update goes very well uh, from the, what we see. There's a certain number of people that are reporting two new problems. Uh, the first one is with no sound on an external screen. So you uh, plug in an HDMI cable on your computer, plug it to the external screen, and what you notice is that it actually doesn't have sound. So you got an image, but you have no sound. And it has to do with specific Intel drivers. If you look at your Intel uh, graphics adapter drivers, there are two versions that are not compatible, 24.20.100.6344 and 24.20.100.6345 are the ones that are incompatible with a Windows uh, 10 October 2018 update. So what they do is you have no sound through HDMI. So if you are having that problem, um, of course there is sound in other means. So you can put a you know, pair of headsets or you can plug in computer speakers of some sort. These will work. These will give you sound. It's really through the HDMI out that the sound doesn't work. You can wait and there will be updated drivers that are going to reach you soon. Microsoft and Intel are actually working together right now to fix this. And the sound will come back at some point. If it's a big nuisance and you have no sound and you need sound and you're going nuts, um, you can roll back to the April 2018 update, uh, of course. But um, if you haven't updated yet and if you're worried, do I have the, the, the drivers that are broken or not? Don't worry about it because your computer is now, uh, is now one of those that are blocked. So if you haven't updated to October 2018 and don't see it appear in Windows Update, maybe it's because you got those drivers that are incompatible. So they have to update the drivers before they update your operating system to the October 2018 update. So that's one issue, of course. Uh, there's still, of course, the issue of the iCloud. For those that are um, using Apple devices, iCloud does not work, it's not compatible right now. Once again, Microsoft working with Apple on releasing a newer version that actually works well. So um, be patient, it's supposed to arrive at some point. You know, it, I, I don't, totally understand that You know, it is annoying when things that you have working doesn't work anymore and stuff like that. And um, <coughs> it is. It is, and I, I totally agree, you know, um, that that these are things that maybe are, you know, I mean, iCloud, um, especially iCloud, I would say iCloud is probably used somewhat by some people to, you know, of course, you know, uh, transfer files and so on. Um, there's the Intel driver thing is very specific to some hardware, but um, that's um, still, you know, I know that it's annoying to have problems that don't work. And one last issue that I uh, have been noting on the problem side uh, that's been popping up, and I gotta say that one, <clears throat> I um, I don't even categorize it as a problem uh, for a simple reason. It has to do with the Windows Media Player. So a lot of people, the Windows Media Player, have noted that playing certain type of files breaks Windows Media Player in the October 2018 update. Uh, sometimes the status bar doesn't freezes or isn't working, so you can't really, you know, click in, in advance to a specific area. Now, I just want to say one thing. Windows Media Player hasn't been updated or tweaked in years. Microsoft doesn't want you to use this anymore. They're trying to remove this from your PC. So, I don't categorize this as a problem because I categorize this more as of a you need to move on in life to something better. 
and um, VLC player does the job really well, even a million times better than Windows Media Player in playing your files and videos. DOM pod player also, because they actually play tons of codecs that the Windows Media Player doesn't even have. So, um, you know, ditch Windows Media Player and, and start learning to use some other piece of software. Uh, like I said, you know, VLC or um, DOM pod player, too great. Um, pieces of software that you need to to that you can download and use are really great. Um, so you know it's that that Microsoft did even though they're not you know updating Windows Media Player anymore did say that they're going to 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 issue a fix to try to make it okay. But still you know that one I would put in the um, in the category of uh, maybe you should move on to something else because at some point you know either you like it or not we'll have a point where Windows Update or one of the Windows versions in the future they're going to remove the Windows Media Player. It's eventually going to be gone from Windows 10. So that's why moving right now to something else is a really good move, honestly. Apart from that, not a lot of problems. Like I said, the majority of upgraders to the October 2018 update have a great and perfect working computer. Just like at the comments here on my uh, channel, everybody that I have commented on their upgrade, um, the majority of the comments are positive. Everything works fine. There's a little, you know, there's a small portion of you guys that are having issues, um, as every version of Windows. You know, it will never be perfect. Whatever you like it or not, these feature updates will never be 100% perfect everywhere. There's always a small percentage. and. There are things in there that sometimes, you know, uh, like I, I always say, there are often Windows problems that are not Windows related, but third party related software you have installed, um, bad drivers. Uh, that's, you know, these are things that, that can happen, especially if you're using more obscure stuff that, that not everybody uses. There's, you know, no excuse for really popular stuff that just don't work. But there's you, there's some kind of excuse you can have because it becomes, you know, Microsoft cannot look at every driver that exists in the world and see if it's compatible and perfect. A lot of it has to rely on the company that creates that device or that piece of software also. It's, it's a shared responsibility. Microsoft does its part, but third-party companies need to do their part also. Um, so, you know, uh, hopefully this update is going well. Right now it's blocked to several types of users, so iCloud users, uh, Intel driver users that have the Intel drivers. Uh, I'll state again the numbers. The two drivers that have problems are 24.20.100.6344, 24.20.100.6345. Uh, these give you no sound when you're using HDMI cables. So the rollout is going on, but it's very, very slow right now. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it, uh, if we get numbers eventually of uh, where it's at. But uh, for now, they're really taking the time, making sure that things are going well before they start pushing on the accelerator and really having this go out to pretty much everyone. Uh, they're still tweaking a little bit. And one last. Uh, thing I gotta say because I had a few people saying well you know why update to the October 2018 update it's not finished it's finished and and finished is a very very um, inappropriate word for Windows 10 because I mean it's Windows as a service there's always some updating of new stuff happening and, and there's always some changes to, over time um, but yeah the October 2018 update is, is a work a working uh, operating system. I got absolutely no issues with it here on any of my machines and there's even a guy um, this week that told me that he updated um, he's got like you know a dozen different computers in a, a workspace that uh, are um, hooked up and he, he upgraded all the all of the machines and he said absolutely no problem on none of them. So it gives you an idea that the rollout is actually pretty good. It's just that um, you know, after the first few little problems detected that, that should have been seen, and now there's a few little glitches again, 
but uh, you know it's it's not that bad of an update it's and they're, they're tweaking and fixing all the little details here for sure if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching